What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Nathan and on this planet we send it and we're going to be getting into today well what we're going to be getting in over the next six weeks potentially is an experience sponsored experiment that I'm very excited to go ahead and bring to you guys. So we're going to hop into the garage and I'm going to go ahead and explain the plan. But the bottom line up front is we're going to be running an experiment to see how long it takes, uh, correction, to see how much protein, fat, and calcium it takes to turn my chicken's eggs from yellow yolks into orange yolks and the soft shells which they currently are into hard shells. All right, let's head into the garage so I can go ahead and tell you the plan before we send it. So we'll see if I can do two things here, talk and do the same things that uh, crack these eggs at the same time. So what I'm showing you here, and I'm kind of keeping some anonymity between the uh, store that I bought these from. And just keep in mind, I you know I encourage you, whatever store that you're, you know, purchase your eggs from. If your eggs look yellow like this and they break real easy just like that. Uh, then, then you have the same problem that I currently have with my chickens. Now, the one benefit of having your own chickens is you get to control what they eat to improve the quality of your eggs if you choose to do so. So here is the experiment I'm about to show you and how my intent is to go ahead and improve the eggs. So not only do I have harder shells, but I also have orange, not yellow yolk. This, this video is sponsored by Grub Terra. And they are providing the 15 pounds of black soldier fly larva in order for us to go ahead and run this experiment. Now again, we are doing black soldier fly explicitly to increase protein and to increase fat and also to increase calcium to turn the yellow yolks into orange yolks and the soft shells into hard shells. Now, I, I, this clip is really going to just be focusing on the next two weeks. I'm going to be separating this five pound bag into feedings. The, specifically the first week, I'm going to be feeding my chickens one pound total throughout the week. So we're going to be starting here on Monday. I'm going to feed them again on Wednesday, then on Friday, and then also on Sunday. Then I'm going to check the eggs on Monday to see if we've had any improvement of either more orangish yolk or even harder shells. We'll see how that, uh, that works. If nothing happens at this point, then what I'm going to go ahead and try to do is combine those. So instead of having a day separate in between hand, I'm going to go ahead and do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then, you know, the basically a quarter pound each day and go ahead and um, check the eggs on Friday and see how they're doing. Now that's what I'm going to be doing over the next two weeks. If not, I'm going to basically be increasing the amount every week or two uh, to see how much protein and fat and calcium is necessary to be able to do that. So at the very end of the video, I'm going to break down how much estimated uh, or approximate fat and protein my chickens are already receiving based on the feed I'm giving them, then using this as a supplement to again increase fat, protein, and calcium, trying to get an idea of how much is actually necessary. So at the point at which I get orange yolks and hard shells from my chickens, that's also going to be the time that we stop this experiment and then I go ahead and produce the results in the form of a video. So all right, now I got a plan in place. Let's go ahead and send it. So another thing I wanted to mention that this is going to be good for is since it is winter and my chickens are losing their feathers, that uh, this is also supposed to help them during their molting, molting season too. So I'm going to be kind of curious to see, you know, uh, as a side benefit, how does this help? All right, so we got uh, one, we got in pounds and ounces. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to four ounces this time. All right, spot on, four ounces. So surprisingly, chickens are actually pretty smart. They know that when I start taking the bag, they're all going to come and get eight. Now, the one part that I cannot control for is out of my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chickens, I cannot say that every one is going to get an equal amount. So I, that's why I'm separating to four feedings to kind of, and doing it all at once and spreading it out as you're about to see to make sure that they all kind of get a piece. So here we go. So now I want to get away so they're not chicken of me and they go ahead and eat and do whatever they want. 
All right, we're going to let them go ahead and do their thing and go ahead and eat. And the next time I'm going to see you guys is on Monday after I've done the fourth feeding, the one pound total this week on Sunday, and see if the eggs have improved on Monday again to see if we have orange yolks and or hard shells. All right, I'll see you then. So I'm showing you the feeding here because we're going to actually have to do a slight change of plan in the uh, testing. And the reason why is because I haven't received an egg yet since, uh, except for today. And this is actually the fourth feeding that I'm showing you. So they've only had three quarters of a pound so far. Uh, so I got the egg, I received the egg yesterday. So here in a second, I'm going to go ahead and head back in and then and, uh, open up that egg and see if we have any difference. Also right now what I'm doing is I'm expecting to see if... Uh, the f looks like uh looks like we're starting to get some feathers on this one that there was like some bare feathers i'm looking for the other one to see if that might be doing a little bit better where's she at that one looks like she's recovering there she is right there and you can see the redness is starting to go away so i'm wondering if these grubs are actually helping her recover um, I don't know, it might be pure coincidental, but uh, so I'm definitely starting to see improvement for the first time. And that's probably due to the fact that uh, it could be possibly due to the fact that I'm now giving them increased fat and protein. All right, let's go ahead and set it and see how the eggs are doing. So I said, let's see how the eggs are doing. Let's see how the egg is doing right now. Whoa. I need to bring you guys in for a close in on this. I am actually impressed by how fast I am already starting to see the yolk begin to orange. Now it will get a little darker orange, but that is actually a pretty impressive first jump. And I will say though, it's, I still have to get to the point, we're still not done with the experiment because the egg shells are still pretty brittle. And, you know, so we're not quite done there yet, but for the first three quarters of a pound of feed, I'm pretty impressed with the jump that we've seen already. Now, so we're going to continue with our one pound plan, which is on the second week, I was going to be feeding them one quarter of a pound, basically Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then I was originally going to see how the eggs are on Friday. Well, we're going to just keep with the plan. And we're, I'm just going to show you every single egg that comes because I'm not sure I'm necessarily going to get the eggs when I want them to. Um, being that, like I said, this is the first egg that I received since I began the experiment. All right, I'll see you on the next egg. So at least after one pound a week, we have been getting very consistently uh, some orange, light orange, not dark orange, some, but some light orange yolks. And the shells are actually a little bit better now too. Not nearly as brittle as before, but not as hard as even I have gotten from some store-bought ones. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and continue with the with the program, which is we're now going to step up to two pounds a week. So I'm going to go ahead and separate it all by... Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. I'm going to give them eight ounces every day, half ounces of every feeding, I mean. We'll see how it goes, and then we'll go ahead and go on to the second week where we're just going to give them uh, two pounds basically back to back to back. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All right, I'll see you on the next day. I just fed the chicken the last uh, of the feed this week, being um, the full two pounds. And then we'll begin the two pounds over a period of four days starting on Monday. But I
and see how these are doing. Doing pretty good. You can see they are cracking, but they're only cracking in one place for the most part um, until I really start pushing down on them to where when we first started. Yeah, you really got to kind of poke at enough. To when we first started, they just were immediately crumble. So again, I, I think we're pretty much done with the experiment, but I kind of just want to show you guys after giving them a very solid feed of two pounds a month, uh, what a correction, two pounds a week, what it's going to look like. So we are going to continue with the next two days of feeding. And then by Friday, when, whichever the next egg after Thursday comes, we'll go ahead and end the video there. So let's go ahead and, as I promised, I'll keep bringing you guys along every single egg we get. All right, I'll see you on the next egg. All right, uh, it's still it's still uh, orange, but that one's definitely the darker one. But that one, the shell was not as good. Hola, chicas. Hola. You guys hungry? You want out? You guys all cooped up? So uh, the reason I waited for the girls to go ahead and start eating the grubs here, they tend to like to follow me for a little bit. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, eggs up from the very first week uh, and do a little comparison as we're kind of also uh, the chickens are eating in the background. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, add in the uh, week after one pound of feed and you can see how the uh, egg yolks are starting to have significantly darkened compared to the um, store-bought yolk and compared to how my yolks were doing beforehand too. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and add in the uh, final the final eggs and uh, show you how they really didn't get much orange after the one pound of feed but they definitely the the calcium was high enough to where I started getting hard shells. So before we get into the final numbers I wanted to briefly cover why I chose to partner with Grub Terra. The bottom line is when we started initial conversations I looked them up and I came to this page and you know saw that they chose to feed their grubs from all the scraps from the restaurant, supermarkets, and farmers markets, um, and that prevented the waste from going to the landfill. And that's something that I personally try to do on my own sort of urban homestead. So I thought that was pretty cool about them. The other thing that I thought was cool is not only do they have the dried grubs, which I was using for uh, this experiment, they also have live grubs, you know, for any of you that have like reptiles, or if you maybe want to start your own black soldier fly colony and grow them yourself, like I had failed <laughs> previously before. And I'll just mention that I ended up, uh, you know, looking about five, six, seven different companies to see how Grub Terra uh, competes as far as price wise. And and I think what I'm about to tell you is is probably why Grub Terra should be your number one selection if you're looking for a dried black soldier fly larva. All of them, except uh, one or two of them, were competitively priced with Grub Terra. The two that were actually like less expensive were from China and I found them on Amazon eBay. So just, you know, be careful of that. Um, the other ones that were uh, priced reasonably or I would say competitively with Grub Terra, um, only one of them talked about being sust feeding them from sustainable sources, but didn't talk about what the other sustainable sources were. And then the others, you know, just so you know, black soldier fly will literally eat poop um, or dead carcasses. They'll eat just about anything. Grub Terra is telling you where they're sourcing their food from, so you know that the grubs that are going into your chickens aren't coming from some crazy places. All right, the moment we've been waiting for, at least I definitely was waiting to see this, and I'm pretty excited to bring this to you. So I just want you to understand before we start talking about the numbers, not all the math is represented here. So you're going to see that some things probably are not adding up, but I'll try to highlight that briefly. So just understand in the red section, that is a typical batch that I make. Not necessarily a weekly amount, but when I create a batch of feed, that's about, I end up with about a 24.3 pound batch. And then taking the different percentages of all of my ingredients, I have a breakdown of, a, of this and the approximate numbers and percentage for minimum protein is the 11.23%. And for minimum fat, I had a 10.67%. So if you have this amount of 
fat and protein in your with your eggs and you're having yellow eggs also that this is probably explaining why you have yellow eggs and we basically you just need to increase this now for minimum calcium and maximum calcium we'll jump over a few columns I had basically almost no calcium and at the most I was getting 0.3% of a, 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 a of a calcium in all of my feed and that explains why my eggs were so brittle Next, we'll move here to the where we started to add in the one pound of grub terra. So this is where the numbers are slightly different. The weekly amounts that you see here are based off of the 13.6 pounds of feed that I give them a week, not necessarily the 24.3 pounds total batch. So just understand that's the difference there. But when you add in the one pound of grub terra, I had a 1.7 increase where we are in protein to where we are now up to 12.9. For fat, I had a 1.7% increase, where we are now up to 12.3% fat. Now for minimum calcium, I had a, uh, we went up to 0.14, and then for uh, max calcium, we are up uh, 0.3. So the variation was now in between 0.14 and 0.16. So, but at this point, I had orange yolks, so the fat and protein was good, but the calcium at this point wasn't. And then we'll move on to the two pounds of additional grub terra to my weekly feed. So for protein, we are now up to 14.4%. This was just under a 3.2% increase from the original feed batch um, prior to adding grub terra. Now for fat, we are up to 13.8. That's just over a 3.1% increase. But we had already had orange yolk from the previous week, so let's talk about the calcium and the difference we made. All right, so if you look at the overall calcium minimum, that's 0.26, and that was actually lower than the 0.3 calcium max in the very first week. But when you go back down to the um, two, week, two pounds of grub tear, we are now up to a maximum of 0.9. So somewhere in between 0.3 and 0.9, is where you achieve hard shells. And then in the in the next clip, when we close out this video, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about what I plan to do with the amount of protein and calcium in order to maintain my hard shells and orange yolks. All right, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video to on this experiment to see how much protein, fat, and calcium was necessary in order to get to orange yolks and hard shells. Now to recap, it took approximately 13% protein 12% fat and somewhere in between 0.3 and 0.9% calcium in order to get the orange yolks and hard shells. So personally what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to supplement my uh, chickens with some oyster shells in order they can sort of pick at that separately and then I'm going to be buying my grubs from Grub Terra supplying one pound of feed a week in order to maintain my orange yolks and hard shells. Now I guess that'll be unless I choose to do a black soldier fly larva farm myself at least on a small scale just to feed my chickens but if we do that we'll see about that later. But anyways Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one